News Source Crawlers Daily Digest, November 30, 2023. The news from crypto, charts, tech, politics, showbiz, sports, health and environment. Michael Latt, the strategist on social justice marketing campaigns, shot and killed by an intruder. Alec Baldwin settles $25 million defamation lawsuit with sister of Marine killed in Afghanistan withdrawal after claiming she was part of January 6th riots. In Brazil, Chamber approves project that makes Black Awareness Day a national holiday. Creator of Evangelion's hometown, erects giant replica of Spear of Longinus. Student, paid to live stream video games for 240 hours and 26 days, dies of exhaustion after working through five straight nights in China. In South Korea, drug addiction treatment to be covered by national insurance. In the UK, Number of nurses and midwives working in NHS hits all-time high of 800,000, amid huge spike in overseas trained medics from Red List nations. WHO demands fresh data from China, amid outbreak of white lung syndrome as Chinese are told to wear masks and social distance again. Nicolas Cage to receive Lifetime Achievement Honor, at 2023 SFFILM Awards. Taylor Swift and Miley Cyrus lead, the Spotify Rap 2023. Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond and James May film Final Grand Tower. Musk says, Neuralink has never caused the death of a monkey. Molly, dubbed the world's saddest elephant, has died after decades in captivity at the Manila Zoo. In India, Bengaluru gets AMD's largest global design center, will house 3,000 engineers. In Ireland, the legislation to provide Gardaí with body-worn cameras passes. Burner phones used in $31 million money laundering case results in disbarment for Vancouver lawyer. A gay German Turk wanted to join the AFD, then a wave of hatred followed. Former drug trafficker offers up island in hope of reduced sentence. Couscous from Sao Paulo is voted the worst food in Brazil by a North American guide. Jack Dorsey, CEO of Block leads $6.2 million investment round in decentralized Bitcoin mining pool. Crypto exchange FTX gets nod to sell $873 million of assets to repay creditors. NHL referee has had enough, ejects 10 players at once, as breaking down the scrum. That led to 10 skaters kicked out of Panthers vs. Senators game. Nebraska's head coach Rule says, a good quarterback, in the transfer portal, costs $1 million to $2 million. Deshaun Jackson announces retirement. France opens door to EU talks on Israeli settler sanctions. CIA and Mossad chiefs fly to Qatar for talks on extending Gaza truce amid further hostage releases. Washington Examiner comments as, did Hamas just prove the Abraham Accords right? Japan suspends its Osprey flights after the fatal crash of a U.S. Air Force aircraft. Canada set to award surveillance aircraft contract to Boeing despite bombardier appeals. Brazil increases northern border military presence amid Venezuela and Guyana spat, reports ministry. Ukraine tells NATO, it won't back down in Russia fight. Kazakhstan says, EU has helped us, to hold our own against Moscow, Beijing. Putin military general is blown up by a Russian landmine in Ukraine, after moving off of his men away, from the front line. U.S. attorney announces charges in connection with foiled plot to assassinate U.S. citizen in New York City. Indian government employee directed a plot from India to murder U.S.-based leader of Sikh separatist movement. U.S. says Indian official directed assassination plot in New York as India accidentally hired a DEA agent to kill Sikh American activist, federal prosecutors say, and U.S. indictment alleges multiple Indian assassination plots across North America. Pope punishes leading critic Cardinal Burke in second action against conservative American prelates as Pope strips anti-gay U.S. Cardinal of his Vatican apartment and salary. Reportedly, Greece government is finalizing the bill to legalize same-sex marriage. Solar storm to hit Earth on November 30th, expected to disrupt mobile communication. California environmentalists sue to stop replanting of sequoia groves. Musk says he cannot see himself voting for Biden in 2024. Vivek Ramaswamy's political director leaving to join Trump campaign. Elon Musk insists his trip to Israel was not an apology tour but admits amplifying anti-Semitic post on X was one of the most foolish things he's ever done. Henry Kissinger, Secretary of State under Presidents Nixon and Ford, dies at 100. UK's former Chancellor Alistair Darling dies aged 70. In South Korea, President's office remains silent for three days after First Lady Kim Kun-hee's bag controversy. Senator Marco Rubio says, 
TikTok should be demonetized, unless China hands over algorithm. French ministers urge to uninstall WhatsApp, Signal and Telegram. Gujarat High Court rejects case against Azin, the Muslim call for prayer. Blackstone acquires pet care app Rover, in $2.3 billion all cash deal. Google caught placing big brand ads on hardcore porn sites, report says. Canada says Google will pay $74 million annually to Canadian news industry under new online law. Sepsis causing bacteria, found in one in five mothers. Children motivated to earn social approval over treats, study suggests. Omicron variants may cause fewer long COVID cases than previous strains, study finds. GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas coming to Netflix games on December 14. Microsoft wants Game Pass on PlayStation, Nintendo, and every screen possible. Publisher confirms Time Splitter Studio faces closure before Christmas. Two municipal water facilities report falling to hackers in separate breaches. Ransomware group Lackbasta has raked in more than $100 million, claims researchers. Biden emails 800k student loan borrowers about forgiven debt. Canada, US top two study destinations for Indians, UK displaces Australia as number three. New Zealand plans to ban cell phone use in schools. In the US, real GDP grows at an annual rate of 5.2% in Q3, versus 5.0% expected. Former Trump advisor says the U.S. economy is back to normal, but markets may be jumping the gun on rate cuts. Germany faces threat of creeping deindustrialization, warns steel boss. The world economy will slow in 2024 because of inflation, high rates and war, OECD says. Hyundai to open new plant in Saudi Arabia to build EV and internal combustion engine cars. Hyundai Motor will halt one of its internal combustion engine vehicle factories to build a new EV plant. Consumer Reports announces, electric vehicles less reliable, on average, than conventional cars and trucks. Toyota reintroduces the Land Cruiser 70 in Japan. Aston Martin Vanquish, a 700-horsepower mid-engine supercar, is cancelled. Hyundai Motor and Kia unveil uniwheel drive system for electric vehicles. Uniwheel moves an EVs reduction gear inside the wheel hub, locating a compact individual motor close to each wheel, reducing the length of the drive shafts. In the U.S., Army is looking for hybrid drive trains for its strickers. Vespa's EU trademark confirmed, the shape is unique and recognizable. Japan has a glut of 8.5 million akiaya, empty ghost houses left to rot. Airbnb wants to fill them with tourists. In the UK, Gove's leasehold reform bill does not ban leaseholds on new built houses. In Ireland, Irish Lives Matter graffiti in Belfast, signs against rehousing illegal migrants spark hate probe, claims a report. In the UK, Home Office loses 17,000 people whose asylum claims were withdrawn. Immigrants exceed 12% of population in Spain, data show. Racists behind Dublin riot could attack immigrants and politicians, government warned. Five journalists were shot in one day in Mexico, officials confirm. In Netherlands, 750 farmers sign up to nitrogen pollution buyout scheme eight months ago, EU okayed. $1.61 billion for Dutch government to buy out farmers, reduce nitrogen. Reportedly, air pollution from fossil fuels kills 5 million people a year. Pollution from cigarette butts cost world US $186 billion in 10 years. Plans to present meat as sustainable nutrition at COP28 revealed. Deal to keep 1.5C hopes alive is within reach, says COP28 president. He denies on eve of summit, he abused his position to sign oil deals. Climate change fuels global political volatility, Australia says. German court upholds wired apps of climate activists to press. Mercedes changing every component for W15 Formula One 2024 car. Luke Donald to return as European captain for 2025 Ryder Cup. NASCAR reaches seven years media rights deal with Fox, NBC, Amazon, TNT Sports. Japan Space Agency hit with cyber attack. Rocket and satellite info not accessed. NASA head Bill Nelson meets Jitendra Singh, discusses joint mission to International Space Station. Almost 20% of Malaysian adults have diabetes. China's new cancer drug Torapalumab is approved in the US but will cost 30 times more. COVID pandemic led to positive changes in dating culture in young adults, researcher finds. CDC wants to fortify corn masa flour with folic acid to prevent birth defects. Malaysian singer Queen Zicheng passes away at 37. 
Weird Al disses Spotify in his Spotify wrapped artist message. Michael Jackson's Beat It dances its way into YouTube's Billion Views Club. Apple unveils App Store Award winners, the best apps and games of 2023. iPhone App of the Year, All Trails, from All Trails, Inc. iPhone Game of the Year, Honkai, Star Rail, from Cognosphere PTE, LTD. iPad App of the Year, Prita Makeup, from Prita Template. iPad Game of the Year, Lost in Play, from Snap Reek Games. Mac App of the Year, Fotomator, from UAB Pixelmator Team. Mac Game of the Year, Lies of P, from Neowiz. Apple Watch App of the Year, Smart Gym, from Matthias Abras. Apple explores iPhone privacy screens, Macs with adjustable viewing angles. Google Drive for iPhone adds built-in document scanner. Yorkshire T reveals custom PS5 and Xbox controllers. Sebastian Stan plays Donald Trump. Jeremy Strong is Roy Cohn and Maria Bakalova is Ivana Trump in the student film. FX's Shogun sets February premiere date. Found in the Irrational Renewed at NBC. Weta Digital is to close as Unity begins company reset. Next entry in Naruto game series may be a reboot. Cult of the Lamb to add sex to the game in 2024. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 production begins with a new look at Shadow. Charlie Day to star in dark comedy Kill Me for XYZ Films, Dark Horse Entertainment and director Peter Warren. Blumhouse is the Black Phone 2, Ethan Hawke in original cast returning for Scott Derrickson sequel. China's leader Xi is delegating more authority in China to his loyal deputy. Russia wants foreign visitors to sign loyalty pledge to regime. Thailand flags bot volatility, high household debt. In the UK, Nottingham City Council effectively declares bankruptcy over significant gap in budget. Most Canadians not ready for retirement, reports Deloitte. OpenAI will add Microsoft as Board Observer, plans governance changes. Google DeepMind's AI tool GNOME finds 2.2 million new crystals, including 380,000 stable materials that could power future technologies. Beijing Internet Court recognizes copyright in AI-generated images. Former CEO of Google, Eric Schmidt says AI could endanger humanity in five years, as he likens devastation to nuking Nagasaki and Hiroshima. NYC Congestion Pricing Board recommends $15 toll to curb traffic. The world's most expensive cities to live in revealed, Zurich and Singapore are the joint priciest in 2023, followed by New York, while London ranks 9th and Damascus in Syria is the cheapest. Occidental Petroleum in talks to buy Crown Rock, WSJ reports. U.S. health insurers Humana, Cigna in talks to merge. Farfetch will not announce third quarter 2023 results. Chinese builder Power Long defaults on dollar bond payment. China Investment Bank bans displays of wealth. Thailand flags bot volatility, high household debt. Cristiano Ronaldo faces $1 billion class action lawsuit for promoting Binance. Philippine regulators move to block access to Binance platform. SoFi is getting out of crypto. Customers have three weeks to move their accounts to blockchain.com or possibly face a big tax bill. In Brazil, Senate approves taxation of super rich and offshore companies. Top grossing, Android apps on Google Play US, November 28, 2023, Monopoly Go, 4.6 stars, Google One, 4.3 stars, Disney Plus, 4.4 stars, TikTok, 4.3 stars, Royal Match, 4.6 stars. TikTok Billboard Hot 100 TM Week of December 2, 2023, Lovin' On Me, Jack Harlow, Cruel Summer, Taylor Swift, Paint the Town Red. Doja Cat, All I Want for Christmas is You, Mariah Carey, Snooze, SZA. IMDb Weekly Top Box Office U.S. Weekend of November 24, 26, 2023, The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, Total Grows, $101 million, 2, Napoleon, Total Grows, $33 million, 3, Wish, Total Grows, $32 million, 4, Trolls Band Together, Total Grows, $65 million, 5. Thanksgiving, total grows, $24 million. Netflix November 20th, November 26, 2023. Weekly top 10 lists of the most watched TV and films in English, Leo, 61,700,000 hours viewed, best, Christmas, ever, 22,300,000 hours viewed, The Killer, 
17,500,000 hours viewed, see you on Venus, 11,300,000 hours viewed, Jules, 6,700,000 hours viewed. Apple App Store Top Paid Games, iPhone November 28, 2023, Minecraft, Five Nights at Freddy's, American Farming, Monopoly, Heads Up. Apple App Store Top Free Games, iPhone November 28, 2023, Monopoly Go. Black Clover M, Royal Match, Cryptogram, Word Brain Puzzle, Roblox. Apple App Store Top Paid Apps, iPhone November 28, 2023. Shatter Rocket, Hot Schedules, The Wonder Weeks, Procreate Pocket, Auto Sleep Track Sleep on Watch. Apple App Store Top Free Apps, iPhone November 28, 2023. Timu, Shop Like a Billionaire, Chat GPT, Threads, an Instagram app, Spotify, Google. TikTok Billboard Top 50 Week of November 25, 2023, My Love Mine All Mine, Mitski, Mr. Take Yabi TCH, Lil Mabu and Christine Rock, Runaway, Kanye West featuring Pusha T, Lovin' On Me, Jack Harlow, All I Want For Christmas Is You, Mariah Carey, Apple Music Top Songs November 28, 2023, Lovin' On Me, Jack Harlow, You're Losing Me, From The Vault, Taylor Swift, IDGAF featuring Yeet, Drake, Snooze, SZA, All I Want For Christmas Is You, Mariah Carey, Rich Baby Daddy, featuring Sex I I Red and SZA, Drake, First Person Shooter, featuring J. Cole, Drake, You Broke My Heart, Drake. YouTube Music Charts, Global Weekly Top Songs, November 17th, November 23rd, 2023, Segin Kien, Maluma, Kaurin Leon, Chalia, Arjit Singh, Shilpa Rao, All I Want For Christmas Is You, Mariah Carey C. No Estas, Inyago Quintero, Atiz Dustam, Murta Mir.